From the South Pole to civilization, Ben Saunders and Tarka Le Penier are reunited with their families after four months in Antarctica and after breaking a world record for the longest polar journey on foot. We're feeling, in many respects, fine, but in other respects, I think both deeply fatigued, and I think that's going to take a while to, uh, to disappear. But, um, and, and just also, I think, both stunned at suddenly being back here, you know, surrounded by people. Uh, it was a long time to be in the middle of nowhere. Just days ago, they were here in Antarctica, having trekked almost 2,000 miles. The pair rewrote history and retrod the footsteps of Captain Scott, who died with his team of four on the first British attempt to the South Pole more than a century ago. One of the hardest things is, is, is the knowledge that, that no one else, apart from each other, will, will ever really know what it was like and what we actually went through. And you can try and explain, you can try and say, well, it was minus 46 degrees C wind chill or, or you know, we covered uh, you know, 42 kilometres in a day, but no, no one really has any reference points. The pair ate 6,000 calories a day, but it was barely enough. Once a professional rugby player, Tarka's physiques changed remarkably. Uh, I lost uh, about a quarter of my body weight, so about 25 kilos, and Ben's about yeah. a quarter of it. Physically punishing for them, emotionally exhausting for their families too. We spoke more on the phone than maybe we do when he's in London. I think it's just knowing and thinking every day what might be happening to him until I knew, knew at the end of each day that he was safe. Their own relatives were joined by Scots today. His great-granddaughter came to congratulate the pair in person. Every morning, I sort of I'd, one of the first things I do was to check Ben's blog and see if he'd written another, another blog post. And actually, um, I decided to reread my great-grandfather's journals at the same time. If it had been 100 years ago, I think he would have been proud to take Ben and Tarka to the pole with him. Tomorrow, the pair will part company but they're now bound by a world record, as well as a friendship that stood more tests than we could ever know. Sally Lockwood, Channel 5 News.